Hey everybody, this is Brian, and welcome to the 43rd Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to be going over an algorithm called QSort. Um, one thing you should probably do is go out and look up QSort, and you'll see the Qt algorithms is a header that includes the generic algorithms, and these are how you really work with things such as lists and maps. Make your life a lot easier working with these things, so let's just dive right in and look at some code here. So we're just going to say... Uh, QList. We're just going to give it some ints. And let's just say uh, 2, 3, 1, 0. And let's say we want to sort that list. Well, first thing, let's actually do a for each. We're just going to print this list out here. And we will say uh, QDebug. So let's just print this list out to verify that, you know, sure enough, we have our, our list and it's in the semi random order here. And we want to sort this thing. So what we will do is say QSort. And notice how it takes a container or you can give it an iterator um, for the start and the end. So let's just give it the list container here. Run this. And that will sort the entire container. And you notice the other thing you could do is give it a begin and an end. So we'll say list begin plus one. And we'll say list dot end. And we'll say minus one. Let's just see what happens here. Pile and run this. And you notice how it didn't sort the beginning or the end. It only sorted in the middle here. See how it goes two, there's two, and th one and three are now reversed. It's because you told it beginning plus one and minus one. So you get a range to sort within. Very simple, you have a very powerful algorithm that'll help you out a lot. Well, I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining, and thank you for watching.